In mathematics and science, a nonlinear system is a system in which the change of the output is not proportional to the change of the input. Nonlinear problems are of interest to engineers, biologists, physicists, mathematicians, and many other scientists because most systems are inherently nonlinear in nature. Nonlinear dynamical systems, describing changes in variables over time, may appear chaotic, unpredictable, or counterintuitive, contrasting with much simpler linear systems. Typically, the behavior of a nonlinear system is described in mathematics by a nonlinear system of equations, which is a set of simultaneous equations in which the unknowns or the unknown functions in the case of differential equations appear as variables of a polynomial of degree higher than 1 or in the argument of a function which is not a polynomial of degree 1. In other words, in a nonlinear system of equations, the equations to be solved cannot be written as a linear combination of the unknown variables or functions that appear in them. Systems can be defined as nonlinear, regardless of whether known linear functions appear in the equations. In particular, a differential equation is linear if it is linear in terms of the unknown function and its derivatives, even if nonlinear in terms of the other variables appearing in it. As nonlinear dynamical equations are difficult to solve, nonlinear systems are commonly approximated by linear equations linearization. This works well up to some accuracy and some range for the input values, but some interesting phenomena such as solitons, chaos, and singularities are hidden by linearization. It follows that some aspects of the dynamic behavior of a nonlinear system can appear to be counterintuitive, unpredictable or even chaotic. Although such chaotic behavior may resemble random behavior, it is in fact not random. For example, some aspects of the weather are seen to be chaotic, where simple changes in one part of the system produce complex effects throughout. This nonlinearity is one of the reasons why accurate long-term forecasts are impossible with current technology. Some authors use the term nonlinear science for the study of nonlinear systems. This is disputed by others. Using a term like nonlinear science is like referring to the bulk of zoology as the study of non-elephant animals. Definition In mathematics, a linear map or linear function f x is one which satisfies both of the following properties Additivity or superposition principle f x plus y equals f x plus f y Display style text style f x plus y equals f x plus f y Homogeneity F alpha x equals alpha f x display style text style f alpha x equals alpha f x additivity implies homogeneity for any rational alpha and for continuous functions for any real alpha for a complex alpha homogeneity does not follow from additivity for example, an antilinear map is additive but not homogeneous. The conditions of additivity and homogeneity are often combined in the superposition principle f alpha x plus beta y equals alpha f x plus beta f Y display style f alpha x plus beta y equals alpha f x plus beta f y. An equation written as f x equals c display style f x equals c is called linear if f x display style f x is a linear map as defined above and nonlinear otherwise. The equation is called homogeneous if c equals zero. Display style c equals zero.
the definition f x equals c display style f x equals c is very general in that x display style x can be any sensible mathematical object number vector function etc and the function f x display style f x can literally be any mapping including integration or differentiation with associated constraints such as boundary values if f x display style f x contains differentiation with respect to x display style x the result will be a differential equation topic Nonlinear algebraic equations Nonlinear algebraic equations, which are also called polynomial equations, are defined by equating polynomials to zero. For example, x 2 plus x minus 1 equals 0 Display style x caret two plus x minus one equals zero. For a single polynomial equation, root finding algorithms can be used to find solutions to the equation, i.e., sets of values for the variables that satisfy the equation. However, systems of algebraic equations are more complicated. Their study is one motivation for the field of algebraic geometry, a difficult branch of modern mathematics. It is even difficult to decide whether a given algebraic system has complex solutions see Hilbert's Nullstellensatz. Nevertheless, in the case of the systems with a finite number of complex solutions, these systems of polynomial equations are now well understood and efficient methods exist for solving them. <laughs> Nonlinear recurrence relations A nonlinear recurrence relation defines successive terms of a sequence as a nonlinear function of preceding terms. Examples of nonlinear recurrence relations are the logistic map and the relations that define the various Hofstadter sequences. Nonlinear discrete models that represent a wide class of nonlinear recurrence relationships include the NARMAX nonlinear autoregressive moving average with exogenous inputs model and the related nonlinear system identification and analysis procedures. These approaches can be used to study a wide class of complex nonlinear behaviors in the time, frequency, and spatio-temporal domains. Nonlinear differential equations A system of differential equations is said to be nonlinear if it is not a linear system. Problems involving nonlinear differential equations are extremely diverse, and methods of solution or analysis are problem dependent. Examples of nonlinear differential equations are the Navier Stokes equations in fluid dynamics and the Lotka Volterra equations in biology. One of the greatest difficulties of nonlinear problems is that it is not generally possible to combine known solutions into new solutions. In linear problems, for example, a family of linearly independent solutions can be used to construct general solutions through the superposition principle. A good example of this is one dimensional heat transport with Dirichlet boundary conditions, the solution of which can be written as a time dependent linear combination of sinusoids of differing frequencies. This makes solutions very flexible. It is often possible to find several very specific solutions to nonlinear equations, however, the lack of a superposition principle prevents the construction of new solutions. Topic. Ordinary differential equations First-order ordinary differential equations are often exactly solvable by separation of variables, especially for autonomous equations. For example, the nonlinear equation d u d x equals minus u 2 
Display style FRAC do DX equals U carrot two has U equals one X plus C Display style U equals FRAC one X plus C as a general solution and also u equals 0 as a particular solution corresponding to the limit of the general solution when c tends to infinity the equation is nonlinear because it may be written as d u d x plus u 2 equals 0 Display style frac do dx plus u caret two equals zero, and the left-hand side of the equation is not a linear function of u and its derivatives. Note that if the u two term were replaced with u, the problem would be linear, the exponential decay problem. Second and higher order ordinary differential equations, more generally, systems of nonlinear equations, rarely yield closed form solutions, though implicit solutions and solutions involving non-elementary integrals are encountered. Common methods for the qualitative analysis of nonlinear ordinary differential equations include examination of any conserved quantities, especially in Hamiltonian systems. Examination of dissipative quantities see Lepinov function analogous to conserved quantities Linearization via Taylor expansion Change of variables into something easier to study Bifurcation theory Perturbation methods can be applied to algebraic equations too. Topic. Partial differential equations The most common basic approach to studying nonlinear partial differential equations is to change the variables or otherwise transform the problem so that the resulting problem is simpler, possibly even linear. Sometimes, the equation may be transformed into one or more ordinary differential equations, as seen in separation of variables, which is always useful whether or not the resulting ordinary differential equations is solvable. Another common though less mathematic tactic often seen in fluid and heat mechanics is to use scale analysis to simplify a general natural equation in a certain specific boundary value problem. For example, the very nonlinear Navier-Stokes equations can be simplified into one linear partial differential equation in the case of transient laminar one-dimensional flow in a circular pipe. The scale analysis provides conditions under which the flow is laminar and one-dimensional and also yields the simplified equation. Other methods include examining the characteristics and using the methods outlined above for ordinary differential equations. Topic. Pendula A classic, extensively studied nonlinear problem is the dynamics of a pendulum under the influence of gravity. Using Lagrangian mechanics, it may be shown that the motion of a pendulum can be described by the dimensionless nonlinear equation d 2 theta d t 2 plus Sin theta equals zero. Display style frac d caret two theta dt caret two plus sin theta equals zero, where gravity points downwards and theta display style theta is the angle the pendulum forms with its rest position, as shown in the figure at right. One approach to solving this equation is to use d theta d t display style d theta d t as an integrating factor, which would eventually yield d theta c zero plus two cos theta equals t plus c 1 
Display style int frac d theta sqrt c underscore zero plus two cos theta equals t plus c underscore one, which is an implicit solution involving an elliptic integral. This solution generally does not have many uses because most of the nature of the solution is hidden in the non-elementary integral, non-elementary unless c zero equals 2 display style c underscore 0 equals 2 another way to approach the problem is to linearize any nonlinearities the sine function term in this case at the various points of interest through taylor expansions for example the linearization at theta equals 0 display style theta equals 0 called the small angle approximation is D two theta D T two plus theta equals zero. Display style frac D caret two theta D T caret two plus theta equals zero. Since sin theta approximately equals theta. Display style sin theta approximately theta four theta approximately equals zero. Display style theta approximately zero. This is a simple harmonic oscillator corresponding to oscillations of the pendulum near the bottom of its path. Another linearization would be at theta equals pi. Display style theta equals pi, corresponding to the pendulum being straight up. D two theta d t two plus pi minus theta equals zero. Display style frac d caret two theta d t caret two plus pi theta equals zero. Since sin theta approximately equals pi minus theta. Display style sin theta approximately pi theta for theta approximately equals pi. Display style theta approximately pi. The solution to this problem involves hyperbolic sinusoids, and note that unlike the small angle approximation, this approximation is unstable, meaning that theta display style theta will usually grow without limit, though bounded solutions are possible. This corresponds to the difficulty of balancing a pendulum upright; it is literally an unstable state. One more interesting linearization is possible around theta equals pi two display style theta equals pi two around which sin theta approximately equals one display style sin theta approximately one d two theta D T two plus one equals zero. Display style FRAC D carrot two theta D T carrot two plus one equals zero. This corresponds to a free fall problem. A very useful qualitative picture of the pendulum's dynamics may be obtained by piecing together such linearizations, as seen in the figure at right. Other techniques may be used to find exact phase portraits and approximate periods. Topic: <laughs> Types of nonlinear dynamic behaviors. Amplitude death: Any oscillations present in the system cease due to some kind of interaction with other system or feedback by the same system. Chaos – values of a system cannot be predicted indefinitely far into the future, and fluctuations are aperiodic 
multistability, the presence of two or more stable states. Solitons, self-reinforcing solitary waves. Topic: Examples of nonlinear equations. Topic: See also. Alexander Mikhailovich Lepinov Dynamical system Initial condition Interaction Linear system Mode coupling Vector soliton Volterra series <laughs>